For most monkeys in laboratories, life begins and ends in a small cage where they're tortured in the name of experimentation. Most will never step outside or feel the sun on their skin. But on July 15th, at a nondescript, recently bankrupt testing facility in New Jersey, a group of 55 macaques left their cages to begin a most extraordinary road trip. I'm Skyland Hazley, president of In Defense of Animals. We are here on scene today in New Jersey, rescuing 55 macaque monkeys that have been living in a research lab their entire lives. So oftentimes, animal rescue work can be devastating, but it's extraordinary moments like this that make it all worth it. When you see firsthand 55 monkeys going to a sanctuary where they're going to experience freedom for the first time in their lives. For the New Jersey monkeys, freedom was 2,000 miles away at sanctuaries in Oklahoma and Texas where caring staff and volunteers had been preparing their new homes for weeks. In the end, like all good road trips, the destination made all the miles traveled worth it. What you're seeing is a pretty spectacular moment. This is an unprecedented event where we've been able to remove these monkeys from the only life they've known, which has been in dark prison cells being abused. And now they get to live with green grass, fresh air, and blue skies for the rest of their lives. Weeks ago, I got word that the uh, research lab had been foreclosed on and there were 55 monkeys in need of being rescued. And at that very moment, I determined that in defense of animals would um, make these monkeys the promise that we would do whatever it took to get them to freedom. And today uh, ends the journey uh, of me being able to make good on that promise. But the cost was not expected. We had to dig deep into our emergency fund. So I, Scotland Hazley, as president of In Defense of Animals, ask you to open your arms of compassion and give as generously as you can to help support this most amazing rescue mission. Thank you.